Hello, my people. My bomb squad army. My bomb squad nation. To all my loved ones around the world. I just want to let you know that I am here. Your king is here. And we ain't going nowhere. For the war has just begun. I will rise again. I am strong. I am a king. Now, see, that's why I'm going to stop Wilder right there. You know what I'm saying? It's good to have confidence and all that stuff, but you got to put an end to that king stuff. You know, could somebody tell Deontay Wilder to be a king? You must have rulership over a kingdom. I'm going to say that again. To be a king, you must have ruler over a kingdom. Now, America is supposed to be his kingdom. But it's mighty hard to call yourself a king when in your own land, you know, on your own property, you're booed in front of the world for everybody to see. WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. And the invading troops, the invading forces is cheered and championed. So, number one, you can't be a king because you don't have a kingdom. And the kingdom that you're supposed to be over doesn't want you as king. These are just facts, but I'll let you keep going. They can't take my pride. I am a warrior. I'm a king that would never give up. I'm a king that will fight to the death. And if anyone don't understand that, don't understand what it is to go to war. Now, keep in mind, this is the so-called same warrior who's been dodging Dylan White for going on two years. Okay? I don't know how you can call yourself a warrior and you'll fight to the death. But you dodging a quote-unquote spare tire, as you call it, in Dylan White. Okay? You have all this pride and ambition. But what happens when somebody looks at you and say, you know what? You was boxing before Anthony Joshua. How come that warrior mentality and spirit didn't fight Charles Martin? Better yet, how come that warrior mentality and spirit didn't fight Vladimir Klitschko? Y'all had the same manager. How come you guys didn't fight Joseph Parker? How come you haven't fought any other champions? Okay, since then. How can you be, how can you say you a warrior? But your actions don't match up to no warrior mentality. What have you done that's warrior like? I want to know. Because if all things, warriors secure resources and land to provide for his people and his kingdom. You had an opportunity to seize 120 million and your warrior mentality said uh, no. Even worse than that, where was your warrior mentality after the fight? Because leave it to your fan base. They just said you had a cut in the ear. You know, and you say you'll fight to the death, but you can't make it to a press conference. Hold, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold the phone. You will fight to the death, but you couldn't make it to a press conference because you had to go to the hospital. But you a warrior. <laughs> I'll digress. Let's keep going. Don't understand what it is to fight. We will rise again. We will regain the title. I will be back. We will hold our heads up high. Oh, this dude be killing me with this Alabama Preacher Act thing, man. This stuff be... Listen, at the end of the day, you just heard this dude say he's a warrior. He has a warrior mentality and all this other stuff. You know how we can simply destroy that and toss that all out the window? At the end of the day... A warrior does not blame the failures in, of his battle on his shield and greaves, okay? A warrior does not blame the fact that they lost a fight on their outfit. Is that warrior like to you? Does that sound like somebody that you want to be over your kingdom? Seriously? So what happens when you uh, when y'all went to go fight those vain troops over there? Well, you know, my shield was too heavy and I was tripping over my sandals and we lost the fight. I mean, looking at you like what kind of king is you? At the end of the day, a king does not blame his loss 
of a battle on his costume. Okay. He does not blame the loss of his battle on his shield and greaves. Your king is in great spirit. And we will rise like a phoenix from the ashes and regain the title. I'll see you in a few months. For the war has just begun. All my love to all my people. And you know, we could put this real simple. At the end of the day, Wilder, nobody asked you to dress up like General Zod from the Power Rangers. It wasn't that important. It wasn't that deep. Okay? So we can bury the hatches on that. Now getting to this man, complete and utter blasphemy. Because this is where everything comes full circle. And this is why he doesn't deserve the benefit of the doubt. He doesn't deserve my sympathy, no sorry, or, or nobody else's. Because you've been getting over the fat like a fat rat doing nothing. Okay? Let me remind you the level of this guy's blasphemy. Okay? Now keep in mind, this is the same guy who said he will beat Muhammad Ali's record and make it even more amazing. The only thing is amazing is the fact that he said that. Yes, Wilder said that. He will beat Muhammad Ali's record and make it even more amazing. I'm telling you how bad this dude brain disease then infected his entire um, Dublin Bagata. I'm dead serious. Hold on, but I'm not done there. I'm not done yet. This is the same guy who turned around and said he will knock out Joe Lewis. Yes, this guy said he will knock out Joe Lewis. And I'm going to tell you why. Me personally, I take a particular offense to that. Because as you know, in Detroit, as soon as you come up off the freeway from downtown, the first thing you're going to run into is what? We have a giant statue of Joe Lewis's arm. You know what I'm saying? We have Joe Louis Arena over here. You know, he was not from Detroit, but Detroit was his second home. And he loved this city, you know. And in Detroit, we love anybody that love us back, especially. But the reason why it's more disrespectful for Deontay Wilder is because Joe Louis is from Alabama. You know? And that's supposedly um, an area where not a lot of boxers come from. Even Wilder will tell you that. You know, we about football. We about football. We not about um um boxing or nothing like that so why would you take the one man that is from your state your hometown and disrespect him and say you'll knock him out why didn't you just honor him and shine him on but once again this dude ego is ridiculous okay but hold on i'm not done yet this is the same guy that said he will knock out a prime mike tyson and that is the cardinal sins out of all sins that is the blasphemy out of all blasphemy this dude said he will beat a prime mike tyson after getting mauled like that for tyson this is a dude who's never won more than two rounds between both fights with him and tyson fury out of the two fights between tyson fury deontay wilder won a maximum of three rounds out of two 12 round fights but this is the guy to say that he will beat a prime Mike Tyson. See, I'm going to tell you the irony and the funny part to all this. Because karma seems to come around and kick Deontay Wilder straight in the ass. I'm going to tell you the karma and the uh, and the uh, irony of this whole thing. While this man saying that he will beat a prime Mike Tyson, he got beat by a man named after Mike Tyson. <laughs> that's the irony of that entire situation you got beat by a man who was named after mike tyson while claiming you could beat a prime mike tyson see how all this shit comes around and just kicks wilder back in the ass if i was you i'd watch your mouth son bruce vane i'm out